homogeneous functions are those equations which have homogeneous degree of terms. There are instances that they can be distinguished easily, but when uncertain, methods are available to check homogeneity. Learn about this here in Engineering Math 5. The degree of each term is involved when checking the homogeneity of a function. Mathematically, the way to check this is by multiplying a constant lambda into the variables, such that the resulting function turns out as the function of lambda x with lambda y is equal to the lambda raised to k times the function of x and y. Sometimes, by checking the function visually, we can identify if it is homogeneous or not. Take x cubed plus y cubed. From the definition, we can say that there are two terms, of which the first term is in its third degree, which is similar with the second term, so we can say that this function is homogeneous. Let's attempt to categorize homogeneity of functions visually. Say we have x squared plus 3xy plus 4y squared. The first term has a second degree. The middle term has x and y, making a degree of 2 and the third term has y squared, which is in the second degree. With all terms having the same degree, we can say that the function is homogeneous of degree 2 in x and y. Next, x to the fourth power times y plus 7 y to the fifth power. The first term would have a total of degree 5, and the second term shows y to the fifth power, so having similar degrees will make this function homogeneous. The third function is the root of x plus 4y. With x and y in the first degree, we can say that it would be multiplied by 1 half. Then it can be said that the degree will be 1 half. For the case of x all over the root of x squared plus y squared, we can rewrite this as x all over x squared plus y squared raised to 1 half. The upper term has a degree of 1, and x and y are squared but are in the radical, which would mean that the binomial is raised to half, so the denominator's exponent will then result to the degree of 1. Then now, having them both as first degree, we can implore the operations of exponents, where we subtract exponents in the form of quotients. Then we can say that the function's degree is 0. For the function of x and y with 2y cubed times the exponent of y all over x minus x to the fourth all upon x plus 3y. This equation has two terms, so by checking 2y cubed times the exponent of y all over x, y cubed will be of the third degree, and y all over x will be taken as zero degrees. Thus, the first term will have a degree of 3. The second term is given as x to the fourth all over x plus 3y, we'll have the fourth degree on top and first degree in the denominator, which will then result to 3 degrees. Having both terms in the third degree, we can say that the function is homogeneous. In case you are not certain of visually checking the degree of terms, an effective method of checking homogeneity is by multiplying lambda, where the outcome will result to the function of lambda x and lambda y is equal to the lambda raised to k times the function of x and y. For the function x cubed minus xy squared plus y cubed, Check homogeneity by multiplying lambda so the function with lambda will be lambda cube x cube minus lambda x lambda squared y squared plus lambda cube y cube. Then the middle term can be simplified as minus lambda cube x y squared. So the function will be lambda cube times x cubed minus x y squared plus y cubed, which is actually with similar format as the standard form, so the function is homogeneous with degree 3 in x and y. 
How about the function x cubed minus xy squared plus 3? Let's multiply lambda to the whole equation so the function of lambda x and lambda y is lambda cubed x cubed minus lambda x lambda squared y squared plus 3. We can simplify the middle term as negative lambda cubed x y squared. So the function turns out as lambda cubed x cubed minus lambda cubed x y squared plus 3. And although we can extract lambda cubed from the first two terms, the resulting form is not the same with the standard. So this is non-homogeneous. Let's work on the function of x and y, which is equal to x ln x minus x ln y. In this situation, we can use the properties of logarithms, where x ln x can be written as ln of x raised to x, and the same procedure happens to the next term. And again, the minus sign would mean division of the terms. Thus, we can write it as ln of x raised to x all over y raised to x. Now, let us multiply lambda into the function. Thus, we get ln of lambda x raised to lambda x all over lambda y raised to lambda x. Note that the terms would have similar exponents, so we can factor it out to be ln of lambda x all over lambda y raised to lambda x then cancel out the lambdas. So let's try to revert the equation back to the standard form this time. The function becomes lambda x ln x all over y. And factoring out lambda as the standard form, we can keep in brackets lambda with the brackets x times ln of x minus ln of y. And if we distribute x to the terms, we arrive at lambda times x ln x minus x ln y, which is exactly the format for the homogeneous function. Thus, the function is homogeneous in the first degree with x and y. If we have the function x ln x minus y ln y, by working similarly like what we did previously, the function will be taken as ln of x raised to x minus ln of y raised to y, where again, we can simplify ln of the function, making it ln of x raised to x all over y raised to y. If we multiply lambda, the function will be ln of lambda x raised to lambda x all over lambda y raised to lambda y, where we can cancel the lambdas from the numerator with the denominator. But at this point, there is nothing much to factor out which would actually prevent the function reaching the standard form. The function is non-homogeneous. Aside from a standard form of a homogeneous function, a special form is also considered where it states that if a function involving x and y is a homogeneous function of degree k, it can be written as x raised to k times the function of 1 and y all over x, and the same function as y raised to k times the function of x all over y and 1. This special form checks both partial substitutions to come out as homogeneous with zero degree. For the function previously check x cubed minus xy squared plus y cubed. Let's work on the special form and see if it would still come out as homogeneous. For the first step, we extract x with the highest degree or that is x cubed where x cubed extracted out will be 1 inside the parenthesis. Extracting x cubed from the middle term xy squared will leave y squared on top but divided by x squared. The last term y cubed does not have x cubed so it will turn with the denominator of x cubed. From here, we can simplify y squared all over x squared as y all over x squared and do the same with the third term. We can then interpret this function as the function of x, which is computed as 1, and y as y all over x. So let's check. The first term is x cubed, which shows 1 cubed, which is still 1. The second term, xy squared, is just 1 times y all over x squared. The last term is y cubed, which is then termed as the cube of y all over x. Next is to extract y from the function, so we get y cubed times the quantity of x cubed all over y cubed minus x all over y plus 1. 
and simplifying the exponents, just like what was done previously, will make the function y cubed times the quantity of x all over y cubed minus x all over y plus 1. Then we can interpret this as the function of x all over y and 1. So check the ordered pair. x cubed is taking the cube of x and y, which is actually the cube of x all over y. The middle term x y squared is just x all over y times 1 squared, and y cubed is 1 cubed, which is just 1. With the two interpreted functions similar with the special form, we can conclude that the function is homogeneous. The method of solving homogeneous differential equations is derived from this special form. Mm -hmm.